Hey, what's up? It's another Dragon Wolf video, real quick, showing you how to import and export texture files. Um, someone had asked that I saw, and I just thought I'd do a quick video. Always think visuals are better than trying to put it to words. Um, it is actually a really simple process. Um, you're trying to do the textures for the dinos. So what you would do is you'd open up the dev kit, go to Primal Earth file, and now from here you'd want to pick the file that you'd want to work on. Um, I searched Carno. Uh, at the very top of the list, there's one for Alpha Carno, but I was digging down, digging down. I found this one right here. Boom. Raptor texture, right? So this is the actual texture file. Uh, the raptors are like the grayish, whitish color there. Um, the colorized ones, like you'll see some that say colorization and all that. Uh, when I've been working with items, I never had to use those, uh, and I haven't had a problem, and they still look good. So I would only do like the main, the one I actually knew were their main colors that you see in game. And I haven't had a problem with that yet. Someone can correct me on that, but there you go. So the first thing you'd want to do just to do the textures is you would go ahead and search for that texture file you want. When you find it, you're going to right click, export, and it's going to export it as a TGA file. So whatever uh, image editing program that you want to use to redo the colors, make sure that it can uh, import TGA files. Personally, I use GIMP. It's free and it works. <coughs> now, I already have some files uh, exported, so I'm not going to go ahead and export that. But that's how you'd go about that. Once you get that done, you want to get out of the editor. You want to open up your image editing program. You'll go to File, uh, Import. I don't even have time right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up. So you'd go here. You'd import the file you just opened. You choose it, right? And in this case, we'll choose uh, that. Boom. This is from one of the items I personally worked on. And as you can see the image map, uh, you're like, wait, what the heck is this? If you've never worked with the texture file before, and I sincerely hope you have, um, the reason why it looks all crazy like this is because certain colors correspond to certain parts of the image map uh, for the actual 3D model. So if you want to make sure that you're putting colors in the right places first, I would recommend exporting the actual model, which I can't see. Oh uh, yeah, I think there you go. We'll just like there you go. Skeletal Carnal, sc static mesh, right? You could um, right click, same process. You'd export the actual model for the actual dino, export it, open it up in a program such as Blender. Again, that's what I use. It's free and it works. And from there, you can actually go to see its image map to see how the models corresponding to the image map so you can see which colors you want to place where but essentially that's it once you export it you get the texture file up you can recolor it any way you want to these files are actually huge I don't know if you noticed but they use 4k texture so it's uh, 4096 by 4096 plenty of pixels for you to work with just make sure you know what the image map looks like so you know what colors to put where for your dinosaur and from when you're done, you would save, and for me, I would export as, and make sure when you work with the texture, you export as a Targa, T-G-A, Targa image, boom. And that's it. You'd export it as a Targa. Once you export it from a Targa from the image editing program, you're going to come back here, and you'll go to wherever folder you want. Don't re-import it as the main file that you just got it from. No, no, no. Preferably you'd want to go to your mod folder and I'll get rid of that search real quick. Go to your mod folder and re-import it as a mod. It'll probably have the same name. You can always rename it to whatever you want, but that's the whole process. The hardest part, in my opinion, is actually working with the image in the image editor, getting those colors you want, and just to make sure you know you're getting it right on the image map. That's it. Hopefully that helps you.